day of the diesels. It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. The sun shone brightly. Thomas and Percy were enjoying a ride in the country. Their steam floated fluffy and white into the cloudless sky. But as they chuffed around the corner, Thomas and Percy gasped. There was black smoke on the horizon. They raced to find out what was, what was the matter. Bells rang. Sirens sounded. Sirens whined. An old farm shed was ablaze. Flames flickered and flashed Inch into the sky. Eager to help, Thomas and Percy let the firefighters and some farmhands take buckets of water from their tanks. We must put the water. We must put out this fire, said Sir Thomas. Huh? We'll do our best, peeps Thomas. But the fire rose higher, and the edges were nearly out of water. <clears throat> Suddenly, Suddenly, a new engine named Belle arrived. She was big and blue. Her brass bell banged and clanged. Buff her up, Belle, sounded Sir Topham Hat. We need your water. Water shot from two spouts high on Bell's water tanks. The flames fizzled and crackled and went out. Belle was low on water, so Thomas and Percy had to help her to the steamworks.
Victor and Kevin gave Belle mm, special care mm, because she was a hero. I've never seen a blue fire engine before, Kevin said. That's because I'm not a real fire engine, Belle peeped. You are a really useful engine, Belle, said Sir Thomas Hank, but we need a real fire engine. Belle had an idea. Sir, you need Flynn the fire engine. He's fast and fearless. He's a real hero. Thomas and Percy gasped. Percy, Victor wished, and Kevin wobbled. Quite right, Belle, Sir Thomas had agreed. Flynn will come to Sold War. He will be our fire engine. The next morning, Thomas took Belle on tour of the island of Sodor. Thomas and Percy. The next day, Thomas took Belle on a tour of the island of Sodor. First, they visited Brendam Docks. Even rusty old Cranky liked Belle. Later, they visited Napford Station and Thomas's branch flight. It was a wonderful day. Belle was very impressed with everything she saw. Percy watched as Thomas and Belle mm, rolled back to the steamworks. He wondered why they hadn't vi invited him on the him to join them on the tour. Suddenly, Diesel slid up next to him. Thomas is very busy with that new blue engine, Diesel hissed. Percy's firebox fizzled. I guess he is. Belle rolled up and introduced herself to Diesel. Do the Diesels have a place as grand as the Steamworks? Our diesel works is not like this at all, said Diesel said. I'd love to visit, Belle puffed. Then Thomas arrived, his rods rattling. Steamies don't go to the diesel works. It's dark and dirty, and diesels can be devious. Diesel snorted goodbye and slipped away.
The next morning, Sir Tom and Hank gave Percy a special job. Flynn the fire engine will arrive soon. This is his house. Please deliver it safely to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Percy puffed away proudly. At the edge of the docks, Diesel oiled up next to him. I told my friend Diesel 10 about you, Percy. He'd like you to visit the Diesel Works. You'd be his special guest. Are you sure, Diesel? Percy peeped. Diesel smiled. I'm very sure, Percy. Percy wasn't sure he should go to the diesel works. Thomas always said Steamy shouldn't puff there, but Thomas didn't seem to care what Percy did these days. Percy wanted friends who had time for him. He wanted to be a special visitor. So wheel turn by wheel turn, Percy puffed to the diesel work. It glowed a fiery red in the distance. His axles tingled. Diesel 10 met Diesel at the door of Diesel 10 met Percy at the door of the Diesel Works. Hello, Percy, he boomed. What an honor. Please come in.
The diesel works was grimy and filled with clanking furnaces. There were engines Percy knew, like Salty and Mavis. But he meant the, but he meant new diesels too. Then and Dart ran the diesel works and fixed diesels. Percy wanted Diesel to like Percy wanted him to like him, so he told a joke. What do you call a train that has a cold? No one knew. And a choo-choo train, peeped Percy. All the diesels laughed. Percy's, Percy was happy that they liked him, but it was getting late. I love to stay, but I must puff on, Percy said. I'm supposed to deliver the hope for the new fire engine to the Soul Door Search and Rescue Center. Darns can take care of that for you, Diesel 10 hissed. Dart uncoupled Percy's flatbed and took it away. All the diesels were being so nice. Percy didn't think Percy didn't think it was fair that they should stay in such a dirty dingy place. You should tell Sir Topham Hat that you need a new diesel works. He puffed. He doesn't listen to diesels. Only steamies, said Diesel Ten. Suddenly, an idea flew into Percy's funnel. I can ask Thomas to tell Sir Tom I'm had. He always listens to Thomas. Diesel 10 smiled.
first he went looking for Thomas. He found him at the Sodors. He found him at the Steamworks with Flynn the fire engine. Flynn was Flynn was bright red, and everyone was impressed, especially Thomas. Before Percy could tell Thomas about the diesel works, Thomas chuffed off to show Flynn around Sodor. He didn't even notice Percy. Percy spoiler and Percy spoiler bubbled. He felt very unimportant indeed. The next morning, Percy went back to the steamworks. Only Kevin was there, but he was excited to hear all about the diesel works. They don't even have a crane, Percy peeped. Victor always says you can't fix an engine without a crane. Hmm, Kevin said. Kevin, if you went to if you went there, you'd be a hero, Percy puffed. They need you.
Kevin liked the idea of being a hero very much. Suddenly, Thomas whooshed in. Percy, I've been looking for you. Flynn's hose is missing. It must be at the search and rescue center. It must be at the search and rescue center, Percy said. A friend delivered it to me. Percy wanted Thomas to ask him who his friend was, but he didn't. He told Percy to find the hose. Thomas told Percy to find the hose, then steamed away. Percy searched until nighttime, but he didn't find the hose. He was starting to worry, but then Percy saw something that really troubled him. Flynn was in his berth at Tim Machet's. Percy decided not to stay where he wasn't wanted. Percy found Kevin, and together they went to the diesel works. The diesels were very happy to see them.
Percy and Kevin stayed at the diesel works all night. No, something no steamy had ever done before. The next morning, Percy told the Steamies where he had been all night. Everyone was amazed. Toby gasped. Thomas's firebox fizzled. Victor was angry that Kevin was still at the steam. Mm. Victor was angry. Mm. Victor was angry that Kevin was still at the diesel works. Victor was angry that Tom. Victor was angry that Thomas was still at the diesel. Victor was still angry that Kevin was still at the diesel works. I need Kevin here, Victor raged, then rattled off to tell Sir Topham Hatt. Percy was excited that everyone was finally listening to him. Percy took Thomas to the diesel works. Percy was certain that once Thomas saw how dirty and grimy it was, he talked to Sir Topham Hatt about the Diesel's troubles. But Diesel 10 had other plans.
since Victor is not at the Steamworks, we're going to take it over. And you, and we want you, Percy, to lead us. And we want you to lead us, Percy. You will be our hero. Percy felt grander than Gordon, and more special than Spencer. He and the Diesels roll away, leaving a very angry Thomas behind. Percy proudly puffed the hand of the Diesels. But when they got to, but then, but when they reached the steamworks, nobody listened to him. Out of my way, you silly steamy, Diesel 10 roared. The steamworks is ours now, and we're not giving it back. The diesels roared and raced. They twirled on the turntable and biffed into buffers. And worst of all, Diesel Ted said Thomas was their prisoner at the Diesel Works. Percy knew he had made a terrible mistake. Thomas was truly his best friend. 
He had to help him. Percy raced to the diesel works and, and screeched to a stop. Sparks flew from his wheels and fell on a pile of oily paper. Thomas was nowhere to be found. The papers burst into flames and the flames spread across the diesel works. Now Percy had to put out the fire too. Percy raced to the search and rescue center. Fiery Flint was ready to the rescue. Fiery Flint was ready to race to the rescue. But he didn't have his hose. Of course! Dart didn't deliver the holes, Percy wheezed. I have been such a silly steamy. The holes must still be at the diesel works. With pinstons pumping and bells clanging, Percy and Flynn raced to the fire. Back at the diesel works, smoke swirled into the sky. Percy found Dan and Dart and in an old shed out back. And they were blocking Thomas in. Diesel 10 had told them not to let Thomas go. Diesel 10 had told them not to let Thomas go, but they knew they had to help mm, fight the fire. Den and Dart released Thomas. Then Dart showed Percy where he hid Flint's homes behind the old shed. Stay calm, Flint thundered. There's no cause for alarm. Bell and Flynn face the fire. So, Bell and Flynn face the fire, and the water flow mm, fast. The flames hissed and fizzled. Smoke swir smoke whirled and toward and twirled. Hooray for Flynn, peeps. Thomas peeped. Hooray for Bell, peeped Percy. The flames grew smaller and smaller and slowly faded. 
the diesel works was saved. Now it was time to save the steam works. Thomas and Percy knew that friends are strongest when they stick together. As they rolled to the steamworks, they collected their friends. Belle, Edward, Henry, Gordon, James. Tomby and Emily. What the Diesels have done is wrong, they shouted. Their trickery must end. The Diesels were surprised to see the Steamies, but they refused to leave the Steamworks. Taking things and using trickery is wrong, Thomas peeped. We can help you get a new Diesel Works. But you have to be fair with us, and we promise not to trick you. Suddenly, Sir Topham Hatt entered the steamworks. He was cross. Diesel 10, he said sternly. You are an engine on my railway. You have caused confusion and delay. Because of you, none of my engines has been really useful. Diesel 10 whimpered and winced. His claw crumpled. Thomas explained why... Diesel 10 have been so bad. Of course the Diesels will have a new Diesel Works, said Sir Tom. Huh? That was always my plan. Everything takes time. And everyone must wait their turn.
the diesels and the steamies work together to build the new diesel works. Thomas and Percy were happy to work side by side. Sir Tom and Hank gave Diesel 10 some extra work to do. No engine on my railway behaves as badly as you did, said Sir Tom and Hank. You will put right everything you damaged at the steamworks, and Kevin will be your boss. At last, the new diesel works was finished. Everyone came together for the grand opening. The diesel works is special because it shows what can happen when all kinds of really useful engines work together, said Sir Topham Hat. You are all very special engines, said Sir Topham Hat. I, I am proud of you. Percy said he was the proudest when he, he was with Thomas. That's exactly how I feel when I'm with you, Thomas peeped. The two best friends jiggled and puffed with joy. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, there was a little trouble going on. The diesels made the steamy pretty mad, and none of them would even get along. There they go, heading for the steamworks. Honking horns, listen to the rolling thunder. Day of the diesels. Airy Bert Paxton Diesel and Dan. Day of the diesels. Sydney Norman Dart and Diesel 10. Percy thought he didn't have a friend in the world. How very, very wrong could he be? With a friend like Thomas rolling by his side, he couldn't be in better company. There they go, handed for the steamworks. Whistles blown, listen to the rolling thunder. Day of the diesels. Harry, Burt, Paxton, Diesel, and Dan. Day of the Diesels, Sydney, Norman, Dart, and Diesel 10. Day of the Diesels, Harry, Burt, Paxton, Diesel, and Dan. Day of the Diesels, Sydney, Norman, Dart, and Diesel 10. Thomas and Percy, Gordon and Henry, Fiery Flynn, he roars to the rescue. James and Edward, Toby and Emily, don't forget Velvet, Brave and Brian. Blue rolling thunder, rolling thunder. With the diesel works all cinders and ashes, there's only one thing to do. But I saw your worries just went together. It's the only way to get through. There they go, building it together. Diesel works rising from the rolling thunder. Day of the Diesels, Harry, Burr, Pax, and Diesel, and Dan. Day of the Diesels, Sydney, Norman, Dart, and Diesel 10. 
day of the diesels. Harry Burr packs in diesel and den. Day of the diesel, Sydney, Norman, Dart, and Diesel 10. Day of the diesels. The end.